It's a city also known for its wonderful summertime rodeo, the Stampede. This is Calgary, where their arena was built to look like a saddle. The Flames are on home ice tonight. Hi, everyone. Along with Eddie Olchek, Ray Ferraro in just a moment. I'm Mike Emmerich, and tonight we get the leading guy in penalty minutes in the league to watch. Now, if you're the coach of the other team, how are you approaching this? Control the motion, Doc. You want that player on the ice. You want to try to bait him or goad him into taking a bad penalty. But at the end of the day, is you got to make him pay if he does take one of those bad penalties. Ronaldo's got to keep himself in check. He could have an outcome in this game. If he takes some of those bad penalties, this team's going to be in for a long night. Okay, so let's look at the starting goaltenders for the game. Mike Smith, big man, six feet four, NHL goalie since 2006, once played in Lexington, Kentucky in the minors, has led the NHL in shutouts during his career and has scored a goal with his stick. Rontas in the goal crease tonight. He is always acrobatic. We can expect more of that tonight for the Coyotes. You see subpar wins versus losses. He is motivated to turn this around, but hockey's a slippery sport. We'll see here. The teams are ready, and so are we. Monahan's the face-off man for Calgary. Stepan's there for the Coyotes. Just underway with Eddie Olchek and Ray Ferraro. I'm Mike Emery. The Flames didn't play well enough to get the win in their last game. Their coaches asked them to get back to their game tonight. To Domi. Looking to headman up the wing. Right to the point. At the point. Big shot. The Flames in their own end ready an attack. Gains the zone. Shoots one. Score! And the place goes nuts! The goaltender was surprised at how quick that snapshot got on top of him. Yager's goal has gotten his team ahead. Boy, you could just feel the energy in this building right now after that early goal. Good reach there. It's an onside play. Calgary's in their own end setting things up. Looking to Yager. Loose puck, the defense got in the way there. Moving it now up the wing. Turned on net. Hunter, he got that one too. Got it in the slot. Great save in close. Oh, another save. Great block. Passing one off now to Reeder. Fires in front. Got it all. Oh, he thought he had him on the glove side. Pitching this one to Domi. Gets in. What'll he do? Nicely received at the point. Pushing it on up the wing. Flames shifting gears back in their own end. Smart recovery by Demers. Heads along the boards. Takes it to the corner. Extra man, oh, terrific point blank save. Possession once again by Richardson. Score! And this one is tied. score put that puck in a shooting position let it go and beat the goaltender clean a lot of times the goaltender feels like his positioning is perfect and he's got the net covered guess what he doesn't a little over seven minutes played here in the first we are at one goal apiece neutralized face off win with a wrister great glove save and he keeps it that was all positioning right into his glove Richardson, time of the goal, seven minutes, 15 seconds. The 
Coyotes do an excellent job limiting their opponent's shots on net. One of the main reasons is how many shots they block. Over the last few games, it's a crazy number. He covers and holds on. Rent has made a textbook stop here. He's in good shape positionally. He makes the save and he makes it look really easy. Arizona's got a defensive zone win. On to Cousins. Onside. To the point it comes. No completion on that pass thanks to the stick. Hammers one. He scores! That shot was all about speed. That was a nasty shot. Oh, he's trying to be aggressive, though. He just can't get out there quick enough to stop this shot. The Flames now have a one-goal lead in the first period. Perhaps they can build on this and carry something sizable to the dressing room. The Coyotes control from the neutral zone. Gets across, looks over his options. Oh, did he ever get mashed? Well, we expected a physical game, Doc, and it looks like he's on a mission trying to set the tone for his team early in the first period. Hard work, but it paid off. No icing. That's a good solid hit. He'll feel that one. Thought he had 10 feet of clean ice. He only had five. There's the stop sign. Directing that one to Fairland. The Flames continue on at center. Let's go, Arister. Club. Now that's a quick glove. Stone's not one of those guys you expect to give a big, heavy hit, but when you slow it down, you really see the force and the impact. Under nine minutes left in the first. We had a tie game until just moments ago. It's a one-goal contest. Grab the two centermen tied up, but there was a good reach there. Not a hard hit, but effective. The Coyotes lug that along up the wing. Right in front. Wonderful stop. You talk about cutting down the angle. Perfectly executed by the goaltender. They score! And they've tied the game up. Goaltender had no chance stopping that puck with the quick release. And so just because you're in the butterfly doesn't mean you can give in to the shooter. You still have to move. He looked like he thought he was in perfect shape to make the stop and didn't have to move. Bad guess. The Flames prevail on the draw. Shot on. Score! at all. He fired home that wrist shot. Man, the top glove Edzo was wide open. He drops into a butterfly. You could throw a football in there right now. The Flames have broken the tie here. They have been out shooting their opponent thoroughly. Calgary's got that one. Now what? And ripped to Goudreau. Not on the net. He had enough room there to get that into short side. However, he misses the net. It doesn't matter how fast it is. If you don't get it in the four by six, it's not going to go in. Slides it to the point. And angled to Goligoski. What a save. I was looking for the light to come on. Picks it up back there. Trying to go to Richardson. Pressing on with it up the wing. Can't seem to find a play there, so he'll go back and reset. Fires. Shot deflected. To declare. Up the wing, moving ahead. Two guys together with force. Big force. 
That is one solid thump, Doc. He went right over top of him. The building erupted. Say. And they've got it again. To Goligoski. Pass attempt to declare. Enormous hit. Gains the zone. And play is stopped for a penalty. The Flames are boxed on a tripping minor. He's got great stick positioning. Stick is on the ice, but unfortunately takes the skates out from under him. The Coyotes get their first power play of the game. Calgary penalty. To Calgary has prevailed on another faceoff. Near the last minute of the first. Fairlands going to the box. It's a tripping minor. Well, in desperation mode, all he was trying to do was sweep the puck away, but unfortunately caught the player's skates. Every game presents a fork in the road opportunity, and this is it. It's a long five on three power play, and it begins now. Big face off win. Michael Furland. He's got that point pass. Trying for it. Great poke check. The Flames are out of their own end. Thrown in. This one comes into the possession of the guy who's supposed to stop all these. Arizona's lugged it back into their own end. He gains the zone. Good job with the poke check. Swept on to Clendenning. Twenty minutes are in the books. Also in the books, a lot of goals. Both teams with offensive confidence. The difference is one. We turn to the shots on goal. Heavy totals for one, very light for the other. A gaudy 14 for Calgary and seven for the Coyotes. Kudrow's goal was pretty good, but is it the difference maker? It is for right now. We had to break. to enter the second period here. What did you think of the opening period of our game? Arizona's lucky to still be in this game after the first period. They had turnover after turnover. I'm sure the coaches addressed that problem in the intermission. Calgary's penalty killing unit got a good workout at the end of the period and still more here at the beginning. Keeps it going up the wing. Penalty call coming. Watch for his signal here. Backlund's headed to the penalty box. A minor for tripping. Now, this is a tough call. He was trying to play the puck, but he tripped up the attacking player. The power play goes on a five on three for a brief time. Maybe enough. Let's see if they can get a pair here. Good faceoff win. Terrific love save. Calgary's leaving its own end. And he glides on to center ice. What a ripper! He had the goalie beat and hit the iron. Arizona is continuing on through center ice. Fires a shot. Oh, and he missed the net. From that position on the ice, he's got to hit the net. Make the goalie make a save. Waffle boarded. He works it along with a pass off the boards. Chip to Demers. Pitching it to Reeder. Calgary's penalty kill comes through. Now we're back even. Now you have to go back to the drawing board a little bit. You had a chance to tie the game on the power play. Nothing happens, and you can't let yourself get frustrated. Nicely into the zone. Toward the net. He scores! Two straight goals. Fairlands 
able to get himself in position to one time that puck to the back of the net. The goalie thinks he's got the bottom half of the net covered. Obviously, he doesn't as this goes by him on the low stick side. Calgary's goal gives them a lead by two. Raises a question two here in the second period. Do they start to play it a little conservative, or do they go at him and try and make this three right away? By number 79. Turn the shot on now. Just missed the net with that one. By number 13. Tumbled to one knee, and he lost it. Snapping a pass to declare. Into the attacking end. Time of the goal. Looking from the corner. 42 seconds. Propelled to Goudreau. Shoots. Score! Off the iron and in. You want to score goals, you've got to get to this area of the ice. Really good shot here, Edzo, as you mentioned. But the goaltender's in good position. Sometimes you just can't catch the puck. You can't get to it quick enough as it beats you. Calgary's got an enormous lead, and it's in the second period. Hopefully, they don't go daydreaming now. The Coyotes with a center ice face-off win. By number 13. Fires. Great stick save. And now it's directed to Froelich. Gains the zone and looks over his options. Let's it go. Marvelous save. No time on that one. You want to score? Score! And that's four straight goals. was surprised at how quick that snapshot got on him. I think he believes he's got the whole net covered, Eddie, but he's left open the low stick side, beaten pretty cleanly. Calgary's got a large lead in this game. Let's see if they can build on it or whether they'll start to get conservative. They've won the faceoff. The Coyotes are moving the puck in their own end. Gets in. What'll he do? With no time whatsoever, he turned it aside. Time of the goal. Six minutes, 43 seconds. To step on. Still has it through center. Arizona's been blown out almost from the very beginning of this game. Their effort has been poor. Their commitment to defense has been poor. They haven't driven the net. It's just been one of those terrible nights. On the outside, a shot. Puck is thrown to Clendenning. Moving it to Stepan. Gets in, and he'll look over his options. Wrist shot. Blocked. Oh, and the pass just didn't work. Let's it go. A terrific scoring chance denied. Looking to Bennett. Passing one off now to Versteeg. Goodrow's driving the bus by himself right now. He jumped back on the ice. His coach is not wasting any time getting him back on the ice to see if he can increase the numbers on this incredible evening. So satisfying to have delivered a hit like that. Down here, you can hear this hit throughout the ring. Just over eight minutes on the clock in the second. Calgary's not done yet. The lead keeps widening. It's four. Wonderful block. The stick can break up a play and it just did. He is shut right off. Oh, he's been looking for that hit all night. Arizona's continuing to probe up the wing. Great job on a cut pass. Calgary's just caused another turnover. That's a big reason, Doc, they have a huge lead in this game. And it's nabbed by Demers. Pitching this one to Declare. Gets in, looks over his options here. Shot, hung right over him and couldn't get it passed. A missed opportunity from this close in. A shot, terrific opportunity, but it's off the mark. He had enough room to unload the shot. He got all of it, just missed wide. Big drive. Gotta get it on net. Oh, that shot had a lot of steam on it. That just missed wider than that. Nice play with the stick. Nothing more will come. Slid to declare. 
He throws it there. And he's able to keep it in. Shoots. Oh, stick save. Directing that one to Lazar. Into the end of attack. Oh, what a save. Another. Buck covered, whistle blown. Oh, you know he's happy, guys. He's sitting there on the bench. He's got a couple of goals in his back pocket already. But you know he's thinking about number three. What an achievement that would be to bang in one more. Tied up, but a good reach and a good step in there for possession. Back to the point. Laid on to Demers. On to Backlund. He's in on an onside play. To step on. Trying to go to Reader. And quickly to step on. Got his glove on it. Gathered up again by Stone. Calgary's controlling play through center. Hammers it. Oh, that one hit someone on the way. Strong wrist shot. Lightning-like reflexes there. Great glove save. The second period has been played, and that's the fun part. We now look forward to the third. Time to look at the heavy totals for the shots on goal. 21 for Calgary and 16 for the Coyotes. The Coyotes are suffering on the goaltender. For him, there are great days, there are average days, and then there's today. More in a moment. Third period about to begin. The rear view mirror will help us with the first two, and so will Edza. Calgary's up, Doc, here with a pretty solid lead, but they know that their opponent's going to come after them. So let's see how they play it. Will they be defensive first or look to add to the lead that they have? Two goals so far, Doc. Oh, what a glove he's got there. Good job on that face-off, tying the man up. Tadomi. Moved along and in. Blockered away. Got it at the point. Receives that pass from the other side. Pass attempt to Monaghan. And he's still got that puck up the wing. No further that rush. The Coyotes have moved to the neutral zone. Pitching at the Yonker. Good job with the neutral ice intercept. Puck out of play over the glass, so another faceoff coming up. Because they can't play it where it went. I don't know if he's going to make a save much easier than that one. He's in good position. It's a rather routine stop. They've won the neutral zone faceoff. You win that, and you don't have to chase. They chase you. Arizona's up the wing, setting things up. Trying to get something generated up the wing. Mark Giordano has it there. All-star game at age 31. Gains the blue line. Takes a shot. Why? Rister got a piece of it with the glove. Shoots a wrister. Snapping a pass to Golagowski. Let's it go. Got a piece of that one. Whoa, what a play. The Flames continue to probe up the wing. Richardson's got it in the defensive zone, headed to center. Dumped in, gathered in by Brody. Up to the point. 
tries to get it on net. Just wide of the post. Nicely into the zone. He takes that point pass. Deflected off the blocker. The Coyotes carrying on in the defensive zone. Goodrow's been an unstoppable force this evening. He's been all over the ice. He's had the puck most of the night, and his number is written all over the score sheet. Got his stick on it. Skates out with it. That shot came from right in front. A quick developing play right in front. Almost looks like he's too close to the goaltender. Calgary has been assessed a minor penalty. Two minutes, and the call is tripping. This is an easy call for the official, Doc. The player made no attempt to play the puck and just tripped up the attacking player. The Coyotes get another power play opportunity. They have not been good on this power play, at least so far. Let's see if it changes. The Flames with a face-off win. Calgary is carrying on up the wing. That shot hit a man. Now it's directed to Stepan. Gains the zone. Hammers one. Let's it go. The Flames continue on through the neutral zone. Right near the line, can he keep it going? Two on one opportunity. A wonderful scoring chance denied. The Coyotes' power play is over. They've had their problems tonight. Wonderful chance to score, but no. The Oilers will be the next opponent to come through here. Travel is just a part of being the road team, because you know you're going to get just as many times other teams are coming to you. And right now, they are coming through this arena in a parade. They win it. And sent down to Froli. Two sticks together, it goes to the offense. Score! where the puck is on the ice. Be ready, and he one-timed it in. The passer recognizes that he's got to get the puck up in the air, but he displays sweet hands as it goes just over the stick and lands flat on the ice. Goalie to the bench, substitution made. After a while, you're not getting much from your goaltender. He's given up a couple of bad goals. There's been a couple that he hasn't had a chance on. It is time to change the record and get him out of the game. Calgary's goal has taken them to an even larger lead on a night that they have had the offense going. Third period of play. It's an onside play. Take it away. The Flames have a decided advantage in this game because of their ability to force turnovers. Good defensive play. Loose puck, though. Arizona's continuing on in the defensive zone. Good defensive play, hand to eye and center ice. Corral. Outstanding offense met by solid goaltending. Look at how active the goaltender is looking around the screen to try to make the stop. Broke it up well with the poke check. One timer. Terrific luck save, but it's loose. Many yards gained to Jalmerson. Got that pass in the corner. Looking for room. In front. Chips it back. And this play is whistled down. It is offside. Pretty routine stop. You can see why everybody learns the butterfly when they're a young kid. Takes away the bottom of the net. Over three minutes to go in the third period. Do you think the ice is tilted in this one? Players are tumbling head over heels into the boards. Gets in. What'll he do? Got that pass near the blue line and now looks ahead. That hit somebody. And he steps in. Bodied off the puck. Tip to the net. He scores! Second of the game. What a performance. When you 
you get to this area of the ice, you got to get rid of that puck quickly, and he did. Ed's a good airtime on this pass. Flat when it lands, and the shooter has a walk-in. Calgary's goal has built an even bigger lead. We're in the third period. For the opposition, at least that is fortunate. Solid win at center ice. Now what? Gives it to the point. Nice job, straight stand-up poke check. Puck is thrown to Goudreau. Oh, and he's hammered. He's got such a narrow focus here. He wants to give his team a spark physically to get them back into the game where they can Try and level this out. A lightning-like glove save. Wrist shot. Terrific challenge. Outstanding save. Wow, with this puck being so close to that, this is all a reactionary save. Routine stop for the goaltender. The shooter's going to have to do a much better job challenging him. Draw the tie up and his team prevails. Onside. Scorches one. Great glove save. Goes back deep for it. Arizona's in control of the puck up the wing. Using the point, he's got it. Chip to Demur. Marched narrowly inside, moving at the Yonker. Gets across, looks over his options. Flings it. Oh, he got that! And the game is over. Well played, it was. The Coyotes have lost again. The streak is longer, and the fire turned under the coach and players is getting warm. So that is it for this one. Thanks for watching. We hope you enjoyed it. For Eddie and Ray, Doc saying good night all.